someone said they want to know uh, how to swap tokens on chain so I'm going to talk about that so okay here and the uh, flash on contract and uh, so this uh, flash on callback in this function you have a you know ball of token so this is where you uh, swap tokens right and uh, this route loop just you know this is just uh, you know loop over each parameter and uh, this is pick protocol this is a you know decide which tokens you um, trade on so you a protocol is a number a, you yeah this is just a number and uh, if it's zero then you know to, uh, trade on Uniswap version 3 uh, version 2 and dodo right so and uh, this is a function you can you know trade with Uniswap version three and then Uniswap version two, and I have a Uniswap fork dot sol uh, sol. This is the contract you you know I use it for a test, you know test for uh you know if this works uh if you know all it Uniswap fork works or not, and uh, it you know yeah so approve first you approve function uh no no, no approve token and then swap uh with this function uh swap the exact token to talk this is this function trade you 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 know uh, i use for trade uh, erc trade between erc 20 tokens and uh you know also oh by the way if you wanna you know uh, swap tokens with other dexes you have to you need a contract address that's because it's external contract you need to you know uh, no address and uh, is the interface yeah so you need to uh, so Uniswap this is the e interface for Uniswap version 2 yeah don't worry about the interface because you know this project has all the interface for Uniswap version 2 Uniswap version 3 so okay and uh, understand each parameter so this is important so you have to you know pass right the argument for each you know each parameter so yeah and so how um, do you learn so you can you know since uh, Uniserp uh, uh, has you know good documents so you can go look at the uh, official document and yeah this one yep, this one is very very good and yeah so or uh, you can you know sometimes they don't you know some decks doesn't have uh, you know the, the document so you know in that case you can look at the verified contract and you know with that contract you can kind of uh, reverse engineering so um, how um, to find a talk uh, no, address so so one inch you know is you know awesome for you know finding uh, address so for example um, ape swap uh, you can oh yeah right here you can just you know click then you can get the uh, you know contract address and then you know most decks uh, uh, verify their own contract so yeah you can look at this and you can download the interface as well I think yeah yeah, and then copy, and uh, you can paste it on, you know, on the repository right here. Yeah. So, and uh, yeah, and test on um, mainnet four. So this is my favorite way to, you know, uh, experience trying things out. And uh, you can go to a uh, yeah, uh, smart contract repository here. And uh, you can write code in oh this test folder, right? This is a test script that I use. Um, and uh, flash on dot test, uh, flash on dot test dot ts. This is a test script um, for uh, for yeah. And uh, this is used for um, testing, you know, each trading, you know, uh, each trade. USDC lap for example, 
and uh, with all the DEXs and uh, you, you know Uniswap version 2, Uniswap version 3 and uh, trade between uh, low cap tokens for example uh, you know USDC, Ether, Link, USDC kind of like this yeah pretty much you know uh, someone asked like how to you know uh, trade with low cap token you know it's easy you can just uh, you know look in, look into a fee for each uh, trading pair right USDC, left Ether 0.05% so that's why you know 500 and the uh, lap laser to uh, light link so you know it's 0.3% uh, so you can just pass it 3000 okay yeah um, kind of like this yeah so look at so how how can I find pool fee info you can go to uh, where is it oh yeah there is uh, uh, info dot uniswap I guess oh yeah so uniswap dot info yeah this you know you can find all the uh, pool info so yeah you yeah right here 0.0 percent etc etc okay yeah kind of like this and the test uh, how to test how to run test you can run with this you know yarn test Yarn test, you know, run all the test in the test folder, or you can just, you know, run specific uh, test script, and you can just run uh, test slash, you know, uh, test pass to test script. In this case, you know, test slash slash on dot test dot yes. Then run, you know, this, you know, folder uh, test script, okay. And then the, all the test is executed and. Uh, mainnet fork so you can interact with the real state uh, on chain you know with no risk no uh, cost so it's so good mm. and if you wanna do uh, you know if you wanna do uh, on yeah, test on specific uh, block number you can change the block number here yeah block you, you know you sh or you wanna test on the latest block then you can just remove it but you know uh, hard hat says you should pin the block number to you know make it to for performance to increase performance you pin this you know um, set this block number you know if he says uh, you use a, a local cache so you you know the speed faster so uh, anyway so yeah, basically you can you know that that case you can um, oh you find arbitrary opportunity and you wanna you know fee, uh, you wanna you know, look into the what's going on on that time on that block you just you know set the block number in here and you know, you actually test you know run test on yeah yarn yeah, test with yarn yeah, test command right okay and if you figure out oh yeah this is good. And I want to try this one. Then you can just copy this first route, the second route, and to in you know come to uh, come to bot bot uh, code flash long dot ts, and then you copy here. Uh, maybe that's not a good good idea, but yeah, you can you know kind of, you know, yeah, execute like this, um, or you can uh, come here and do. Uh, write test script and uh, you can do npx hard hat run script uh, like like uh, you know you, you any script you you write right um, mm, btc or something like that yeah kind of like this yeah so yeah and if you want to know how it all uh, works then uh, you can go look at the you know each flat, uh, test script call uh, test script and folder right here uh, it has uniswap fork uh, test test all test and yeah and you can you know even uh, support all the uh, other decks like um, 
balancer and curve and yeah I try to try to support curve but uh, I didn't uh, make it because it's I don't know like it was it was hard yeah and uh, yeah I my private posture he supports uh, a little a couple more uh, dexes uh, other than you know you swap uh, version 2 version 3 with Odo but yeah um, but I, I feel, you know, major, you know, DEXs are, you know, uni apparent, apparently Uniswap version 3. Uniswap version 3 is, for the most part, you know, winning on, like, any, you know, market condition. So, yeah, because they, they have, you know, they have, like, huge liquidity and, uh, you know, better, uh, you know, price calculation algorithm. So, yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's it. Yep. Thanks for watching.